problem. Yeah, man. Okay. So, well, you know, I thought we fought in stretches, but man, there were sort of some exasperating uh, turnovers that we had. We got this, it's almost like it's contagious. It happened Sunday down in Central Connecticut. We had a, we had a stretch there in the first half. We turned it over five out of six times. So, you know, they're, they're kind of the turnovers that you really can't be making. Uh, so, uh, you know, and, we're, and, and clearly we're struggling to score. We're struggling to score. So, you know, these guys, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're a little beat down right now. And, and our job is to get them feeling better about themselves and, and stay the course. I mean, I just told them right now, I said, we, we're not going to, we ain't going anywhere. We've got to get better. We've got to get better. We've got to, you know, dribble better, shoot better, pass better. We're going to do that. We changed our practice routine. Uh, didn't show tonight, but, it, but it's paid off. We made a lot of progress. Uh, made a lot of progress against Central Connecticut. So, is this the, the toughest stretch you've gone through as a coach? Is this the head coach? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, it's been a tough stretch, but I mean, you know, it's. Uh, um, uh, you, you know, it's still a group that you, you want to be with and you love being with. And I, I mean, I. You know, I'm, I'm frustrated right now. I'm disappointed. I think the whole team is. But, you know, it's, um, you know, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, it's, it's either going to, it's either, it's going to do one of two things. It's going to make us, it's going to make us better or it's going to, it's going to wear us out. So we got to, we got to make sure it makes us better. Well, with the scoring, I mean, I noticed that you moved Anthony out the ball. Is that because you wanted to try to get Yeah, him to we're trying to get him. To, I mean, we're, we're trying to find somebody to make some shots. I mean, Anthony's, you know, Anthony's somebody that, uh, you know, you know, we think it help us score, but he's, he's, uh, I kept saying, I said, I'd rather see, he had one turnover. He had one turnover in particular, I, I kind of grabbed him when he came out. I said, you know, I would rather see you take maybe a little bit of a questionable, even contested type shot than force the action there and then turn the ball over. And he said he just, just wasn't feeling it. So I said, well, you should never shoot if you're not feeling it. Did he struggling a little bit with that go-to score role instead of playing the point as much? I think he's just struggling, and, and, and more emotionally than anything else. He, he's trying so hard, and he's so far ahead of these other guys, and he's trying to get him. He's trying to pick them up and carry them with him, and it's just. Uh, I'd like to see them respond a little bit better. You know, uh, they just don't know how. And I'm not making excuses. They just don't know. You know, I, I said back at the Mac Media Day, uh, not that I'm prophetic or anything, but I, I said, you know, everybody, everybody went up there and they're talking about, well. I'll my, my player's a great leader, and my player's a great leader. And I said, I'm not worried about that. we got a great leader. I'm worried about guys following. I'm worried about them responding. And, and if I'm disappointed in anything other than victories and lack of victories and turnovers, it's that these freshmen aren't looking the same way. we got a great leader right here. We need to act more like him, be more like him, uh, and they're not responding like they should. And I don't know what button to push. We keep trying. We don't know what button it is to push to get them to realize that, that, that we got a gem here in Anthony Nelson as a leader. And they're just not following like they need to follow. I don't, I don't, know, I don't know if they don't know how to follow or if they don't realize what they should be doing. But, you know, that's a battle for us. Does Anthony need to be more vocal? Or? He, he is as vocal as he can be. And there are times he, he'll say to me, like almost in private, he, he, Coach, I'm trying. I'm trying. They're just not really responding like they should. So I think it's, it's a simple mathematical type thing maybe. There's just too many of them. Just yeah. too many. Just too many. Anthony's got no real help in the leadership role. You know, he's just, it's kind of him and, you know, uh, I guess Kashif a little bit, but it's, it's really just Anthony. And there's too many guys. He's got five freshmen. He's got Kavan as a transfer. Uh, he's got Scooter, who's still a young sophomore. So, uh, you know, he's got too many guys he has to bring with him. And it's just, it's just, a, you know, it's just kind of, kind of so. but we'll see. Back on the road now. I was going to ask, coming home, do you think that would give you, a, obviously you thought it would give you a bigger boost? Than and maybe sometimes that can be a little bit of a false sense of uh, comfort. You know, it's not magic just because you're home. I mean, that's a good team. We didn't lose a bunch of bumps. I mean, they're they're going to win that league. I mean, I think they, we scrimmaged Robert Morris. We played Mount St. Mary's. We played Central Connecticut. Uh, that's a good team. But then they got seniors. They got seniors. I mean, the, the big guy with the hair, he's a great player. The, the little guard, number one, he's a fifth-year senior, a junior college guy. Uh, number three is, uh, is a junior, but he started every game of his career. So, you know, they got veterans, they got, and they're talented. They're not just talented, but they're, 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 it's a good team.